right, all right. So welcome back to Studio 39, a.k.a. The Bear Cave, man. I'm Rob Odie. This is another episode of Spotlight 39. Like we do every time, we got another young man with another story to share. Super excited to get into it. But before we do, I need to throw it out there, man. Please continue to hit that subscribe button. Continue to, you know, share it on all your social media. Continue to help us grow this platform, man. We're doing real big things. And, and obviously, man, I couldn't do it on my own. So big thank you to everybody that's helped out thus far. Uh, now that that's out of the way, man, let's let's get into it, man. I got Carlos here. He's going to tell us who he is formally, where he's from, what he plays, all that fun stuff. We're going to have some good conversation with that man. The floor is yours. Hey, what's up? My name is Carlos Montes. I'm from Marietta High School. I'm an inside backer. Um, I'm the class of 2022, and let's rock. Very cool, man. So class of 22, inside linebacker predominantly, right? Yes, sir. Anything on the offensive side, or you stick straight to the defense? I'm a fullback with it. I could help my teammates block and stuff. Okay. And, yeah. So most of the time you, score. you know, you're putting the body on people, regardless what side of the ball you're on. Yes, sir. Like getting I like hit. It. Love getting hit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. So uh so let's talk a little bit about uh how your season went this year, man, because you were fortunate enough to to at least get a handful of games. Did you complete a season or you know, was it cut short or how'd that work for you guys? No, we're lucky to have a full season, all ten games, and we went to the first round playoffs, but unfortunately our season ended early. But yeah. it was we started off rough and we started like joining later because it's a new team, brand new team, but no excuses even though. But we still had a gel like late and it was too late, you know. Yeah, yeah no worries. No worries man. Look, you got a whole you got a whole nother season to come back, right? Yes, sir. One more cool, season. Man. <laughs> so uh so let's talk about your uh, your individual performance, man. How was uh how was your performance over the season? You know, how did um, you do overall? What would you say uh, really made you stick out and stand out and excel compared to the next guys? What made me excel was like if I saw something, I'll shoot the hole, I'll hit somebody, and attack for a loss and make those big plays when we really needed them. Good I started good. off kind of slow, my rocky or started rocky for the little second, like first two games. But after those two games, like I back in the groove, started helping my team on defense, started leading the defense like I was meant to be. Cool man, and, cool. Yeah. So, uh, so with the season, right? Is uh, how long have you been on varsity? Um, all three years. Okay, so you, years so you came out the gate straight to varsity, right? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, cool, man. So if I was to ask, if I were to ask coach, you know, what really makes you stand out? You know, what what would your key strength be? What do you think you would tell me? Um, probably like my awareness and stuff on the field. Like, I could lead my defense or my team into a like maybe like under pressure, I could lead it to great, get a good win and help my team no matter what. Cool, man. So, so just your overall awareness and, and team leadership, right? Is it? Cool, man. Cool. So, with you having a, a season under your belt this year, right? And uh, you obviously got your season uh, senior year to come back and, and you know do bigger things. Um, what are you going to take out of this season and work on? You know, and make it your focal point. You know, going into next year. Um. Probably not taking everything for granted and trying to work on just like learning everything, learning my keys, getting better with my footwork and tackling. And of course, because I got to make those big plays, you know, in the backfield on short yardage and just try to let the other, not to let offense score so many. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so obviously, uh, you know, you've got a little bit of time. Do you have any camps uh, or anything lined up? going into next year obviously covid you know is a big question mark but you know i know uh seven versus sevens you know starting to pop off you got anything like that lined up um as of right now i'm in wrestling and i'm gonna run track right after and just okay. trying to stay active then um I, as a camps wise i'm not really sure but i'm doing the elite classic in a few um in december okay. late december so i'm gonna be in that then after that i'm still like looking around to see what's up with college um, camps, if it's yeah. questionable and stuff. So, so with the elite, uh, with the elite showcase, right, or the elite classic, um, that's down in Georgia, right? Yeah, is that's in the, Georgia. Is that the Florida versus Georgia showcase thing, or? Oh uh, no, it's just no. in Georgia, and we're okay. like the twenty-two and uh, twenty-two class playing the twenty-one um, class. Okay, so basically yes, junior versus senior, right? Is yes, there? Cool, man. And when is that coming up? Um, around like late December, kind of. Okay, so a couple of weeks from now, right? Yes, sir. Cool, man. So um, that's, I mean, that's pretty cool. That's invite only, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so you're fortunate enough to get fortunate. that invite. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. 
Uh, so cool, man. So let's talk about, uh, you know, obviously you got a, a ton of talent on the field, but how's your talent in the classroom, man? What's some grades look like? Oh, all these MBs, of course, my, <laughs> oh. my dad's on me. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, I have a 3.6 something. And if I have a C, oh, he's on me like <laughs> this, bro. <laughs> Nah, that's that's good, man. You know, it's always great to have somebody, you know, have a backbone that's that's keeping you straight, right? Because obviously, you know, high school, you you live and learn, right? You know, I mean, you're still a kid, you know, still trying to find your own, uh, for the most part. And uh, you know, it's good to have somebody that that's you know standing behind you and making sure you stay straight on the the grades. Because man, you could have all the talent in the world, but if them grades aren't right, you know, what good is it, right? Yeah. So, uh, so kudos the pop for that, right? <laughs> for real. Cool, man. Cool. So um. You know, let's let's switch gears, man. How was uh how's your recruiting going? Have you had any ha- conversations, any looks, offers? What's that look like? No, I haven't got any offers yet. I'm still waiting patiently, but I've a um, few schools been looking at me like Eastern Carolina and stuff like that. Or okay. should I say Western? Okay. Western Duke been texting me and schools like that. Cool. Which is like so you said ECU like, was one of them? Huh? You said ECU was one of them? Eastern oh, Carolina? No, Western Carolina. Oh, Western. Okay, okay. I was gonna say I know uh I met Coach Houston. Uh, a few years ago when he was with uh, JMU. So good deal, man. Um, so, you, so you've had a couple of conversations, still looking for your first blessing to come out of it, right? Yes, uh, obviously, you got a whole, you got a whole off season to, to get bigger, better, stronger, faster. Come back next year for your senior year and just really show out, right? Yes, um, and hopefully have those, uh, those, those offers, or as I like to call them, blessings really explode and <laughs> a nice, you know, a nice mix of where you can and can't go, right? Yeah, to be honest. That's cool, man. No, that's exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how you know how that folds out for you. But um, you know, let's let's switch gears, man. Let's let's uh, let's get to the most important aspect of the show, or at least I think so. And that's uh, you know who you are as a person, man. Because you know we can watch your huddle tape, right? You know we can see you know all the talent that you got on the field. You know we can look at your grades, but you know we can't look at who you are. So you know who are you, right? Who's Carlos? Who, you know who are you offside? You know outside of the football field? What are you involved with? What do you enjoy doing? All that fun stuff. Oh, I'm a gamer. <laughs> no, I love playing Call of Duty, but if you know me in a personal level, even if you don't know me, I'm like a nice, cool, chill dude. I, I'll talk to you. I'll mess around with you. We're always joking around, always laughing and trying to make okay. the best things out of little things, you know? All right. And you, you said you're a big gamer, so Call of Duty is your get up, right? Yes, sir. All right. So uh, you what console are you on, man? You make it to the new PlayStation or Xbox yet, or are you still... No, I'm you know, still on the four. I'm still on the four. I'm trying to get the five, though. I'm yeah, crazy. everybody's trying to get the five, man. <laughs> Hell, I think Walmart's trying to get the five <laughs> after their website, you know, failed a couple of loads like a week ago, man. It was it was That's a crazy. madhouse online, man. Um, but cool, look. So I appreciate your time, man. Obviously, you know, we've been going, you know, back and forth trying to make this happen for probably about two weeks now. So I appreciate, you know, you, you know, bearing with me and, and locking it down. But uh, I'm going to close it out with the same question, man, that I do every single time. And that's what motivates you to want to wake up tomorrow and be that much more, you know, what, what motivates you to want to wake up tomorrow and be that much better than you were today? What motivates me is just like, I'm always trying to get better. And I know there's like, there's always a saying, like there's always another person trying to work better than you or more sure. than you. And I just want to be that guy. You want to be want that to be person known. that's working harder, right? Yeah. I want to be known for that one person. I want to make my no- my name known all over like the state, the country. And I want to be like never forgotten and stuff, you know, good and deal, man. Be that person. So, so when somebody's talking about a, you know, an outside linebacker, you want Carlos to be first in mind, right? Yeah. I always want to be on mine. <laughs> I'm with it, man. I'm with it. So look, I appreciate your time, man. And for all the viewers out there, I really do appreciate the support thus far, man, but continue, continue, continue to subscribe continue to share on that uh social media platforms man snapchat instagram facebook whatever you've got continue to share it man because we really are doing big things and we couldn't do it without you guys so i appreciate it man so carlos man i I wish you nothing but the best especially in your your showcase coming up that's uh that's a big deal man i'm gonna you know stay tuned and look for some highlights on that um stay safe stay healthy man until then you know we'll chat i'm rob Bodie. this has been another episode of spotlight 39 so next time i'll talk to you Yes, sir.